And during this journey, if you see, I had applied for one very senior role. I joined this program and I started interacting with Mudit. There were some interviews where I had to prep myself and Mudit helped me. I got a two-level promotion. I had one interview with the managing director. Again, I contacted Mudit. Then Mudit said, you know, don't concentrate only on your role. Go and check their reports, their annual reports, their websites and see where you can help them solve their problems. I started suggesting MD that can we build this team at offshore? And he said that is the reason why they are hiring and I got that job. We will start with the official program. Okay, with this, we're going to quickly move on and I'm going to encourage all of you to share your experiences. How have you benefited from this program? What have you done? I'd like to call Sudhi to share his story first with us as to what his 90 days were all about. Thank you so much. Mudit, I started thinking different. Should I do it all those things myself and learn from mistakes or can I learn from others' advice, others' experience? That's where I thought I should take this paid program for this uh, expert coaching where I can learn from seniors and get the right mentorship. As part of the CXO journey, some of the things, great things happened is clarity of purpose, rule of the game, the discipline, self-belief, right? You know, the confidence I need to build. And during this journey, if you see, I had applied for one very senior role and it was stuck in between. And then, you know, luckily I joined this program and I started interacting with Mudit. There were some interviews where I had to prep myself and Mudit helped me. For example, the salary, right? I got a two-level promotion, but the salary when I checked in this uh, job portals, my salary was for that role, it was almost two weeks. Then I was checking with Mudit, can I ask that two weeks uh, salary? Will I lose this opportunity if I ask two weeks? Then he said, instead of you ask that way, you just start listing why you deserve that 2x. If you can convince them why you deserve that 2x, nothing like it. Finally, I had one interview with the managing director. Again, I contacted Modi. Then Modi said, you know, don't concentrate only on your role. Go and check their reports, their annual reports, their websites, and see where you can help them solve their problems. Then I started going through their annual report. There I found that, you know, most of their business was in uh, Europe which was hit badly because of this Ukraine-Russia war. Then I started suggesting MD that can we build this team at offshore. And he said that is the reason why they are hiring. And I got that job. As part of this program, a lot of new things to learn, plus implement few things continuous. And actions like meditation, self-affirmation, gratitude, developing good habits, continuously visiting the SWAT, wheel of life, goal card. And one of the things, never give up. Keep trying it. It may not happen and do small actions at a time so that you can reach that goal. These are the benefits uh, I got from this uh, CXO 90 day program. Formally, I'll just call Raju to share his journey. I started this uh, presentation with a question that is Raju on his way to become a CEO? The answer is yes. Journey started, uh, I would say, people would say that the journey started uh, the time when they graduated from the schools. But my journey, real journey started last year in 2022. Uh, it started with nothing actually. I mean, started as Mudit was saying that I left my job at that time. But the reason I would like to share in this particular forum also, which I had shared with Mudid earlier also, that uh, I had been working uh, in organizations where I think uh, I was a true salesman at that time because I used to work 24 hours a day. I used to work with my team. I used to buzz around with my team in the evening, understand their issues. I was stressed out with the numbers every month end, every month beginning on budgeting, on quarter ending. And I think the life was moving uh, 
I would say in a very good manner. Uh, I think I was enjoying it, but I was not satisfied. Means end of the day, I always have this thought process that what I'm going to do next. And the vision was not there at all. So it started with nothing actually. So the life was busy. Was too busy at that time. Then I started feeling. Means I, if I say that I used to travel almost two twenty days in a year outside Calcutta, I was mostly with the customers, uh, trying to connect with them, trying to understand them. but end of the days i was not satisfied at all means uh, i was having good package everything was going smooth so one day i was just buzzing around with my friend uh, and he was mentioning about uh, we were sharing our stories uh, how life is going on and he just told me that uh, why don't you have little bit of meditation uh, going on in your life also and you have a small schedule for that in this 24 hours block so i said meditation i have heard about it but i don't think it uh, helps anything it's, it's all about uh, talking about people putting something in themselves and then uh, they are going to forget it he said okay fine enough you just go through one of the one or two videos of sadguru and then you decide i said okay fine i will do that so much later i was scrolling down some of the reels in youtube and i came across sadguru's uh, videos in smaller versions um, and i was going through it i was just glancing through it and uh, after some days i started feeling the direction that he was putting in that and i was trying i was able to connect with him and slowly and steadily i started uh, downloading i i downloaded his apps i went through his videos and i could feel the connect that uh, i was feeling and i was i was able to understand that what is missing in me which is creating that trouble in me every night that i am not satisfied and then i started getting into lot of sadhanas initially i started it as just a passion but slowly and steadily it started bringing a lot of change within myself as mudit was saying a lot of things happen in the subconscious mind which we don't even when we which we don't recognize and that started happening with me and uh, simultaneously after 6 or 7 month i started feeling that change within myself and uh, that day i still remember the day i think uh, 15th of october just the puja uh, in calcutta is over i decided that i will leave this job particular job that because it is having no directions means it was having positions it was having package but somehow uh, it was not having any direction in life and i think that things comes within me since i have already completed that 6 to 7 month of sadhanas uh, that was there and then i left this job after talking to my wife and uh, i started focusing on clear activities and clear ideas clear approach on where i should be moving next and at that time i think i came across mudit also and i shared the same thing with mudit and he also asked me that uh, see every uh, program uh, will require a cost so will you be in a position to take it i said yes i would like to go for it because i am very clear that what i need to do now and i also know the gaps where i need to fill it and i think this program is one of the program which would i could uh, make it out from the gist that he was uh, showing at that time that it can fill the gap uh, but yes i need to work on it it's not that i can always uh, take it from the teaching i need to work on that particular areas so that is how it's got started and during the course of this program i was working on my actions i was focusing on what i need to do i was uh, working on the purpose of life the ikigai and the wheel of life everything and i i started understanding that where i need to go in next 5 uh, to 10 years based on the experience that i have built on and i think i am quite clear now and during the course i got to get across this particular organization which is a multinational organization it is flourishing in a big, bigger way uh, with uh, keeping uh, india as a main hub center for future so i took this approach and i think uh, during the interview also i utilize a lot of uh, resource material that mudit has shared uh, like uh, uh, the, the the storytelling and other things and it moves on very very smooth manner and i I, I would like to say share one thing that uh, I I got the job uh, based on my terms. I was not uh, in sure that I would get these particular things uh, doing these activities sitting in Calcutta, but I think uh, they have given me the role uh, and asked me that you can work from wherever you are like to work. 
and a lot of responsibilities has been given to me and i think i now working on it and it is it is a movement towards my vision which i would like to show in next few uh, slides so that's why i said that it started with nothing but ends on a different me altogether and now i have got this uh, very clear vision in my mind i'm quite focused in my activities and it's a transformation and i don't feel anybody is totally transformed anytime it's the life is entirely about the transformation and it's always in progress so uh, so everything start with a purpose so i i i decide my ikigai based on these parameters which i feel that uh, this is what it's all about i'm not going much deep about it because each individual has got different purpose of life so it's my slide so it's my purpose of life that i like to uh, show it to everyone and this is the vision board and uh, what i have decided that this particular vision board i would like to uh, keep it in my workstation and uh, i have made, kept a few dates uh, on achieving these things so whenever i'm going to achieve it i'm going to replace that particular photograph with my own achievement so that i always get the feel that okay i am going some improvement in my life and i am reaching the vision boards in full force so this is my goal card which i have shared long back with mudit i think uh, when the first uh, session started at that time so i have i have kept it in front of my uh, workstation i have kept a very nominal uh, salary package at that time of 2 to 3 crores but i think it's going to increase at that time so since i am not focusing too much on the money aspect but i think uh, i think uh, more focus is there on the purpose of life that i'm going to do in my entire life journey this is the wheel of life i think a lot of things i need to do i am working on it and i think uh, the wheel of time become more uh, saturated with circular path i think the more we implement on the habit aspect of it so i think this one one person improvement phase is very important in our life and i i have taken it very seriously in my life i have changed a lot of uh, activities uh, that i have been doing in a routine uh, life uh, continuously and uh, i have uh, removed lot of activities which are not adding uh, value to it so i think the first we make our own habits then our habit makes us i think it's very clear to me and this is the phase i am working on this is the entire analysis that i have done based on the ikigai that i have developed and now the entire chart is clear to me the vision is clear to me the goals are clear to me and the skills which i need to develop i have ranked it also and i am working on it completely so as it says that the journey always begins and a journey of 1000 miles begins with a single step so i think i will keep on doing this and finally and not least i think it's a big thank you to mr mudit sexena for being the mentor in this journey thank you thank you everyone thank you mudit and uh, uh, good morning everyone uh, so i am going to tell you a story of a person uh, you know who is going through the journey of uh, trans transformation and that person is known that that is uh, that is uh, mine so my name is prashant and i am currently associated with society generally as a function head and a client partner and since i have been into these into these kind of similar roles from the last couple of years i felt that my growth i was stagnant and i was not aware of what it takes to me to become a c suite executive also i was not aware of where i need to focus upon how to manage my energy toolkits and you know i was just looking a combined package a person who can help me out and uh, and in and in all these things i found mudit who helped me a lot i where you know he gave me a lot of a uh, lot of uh, insights how how basically i can deal with all these kind of issues so this this particular program gave gave a direction and showed a path on what actions to be taken to to become a cio now so my journey is all about over the last 3 months my journey is a personal deep dive into the understanding who i am and what i must make myself capable of accomplishing the things so i have connected to the purpose that fuels my curiosity and as well as uh, that gives me the ultimate trajectory of it. so now the thing is how basically i have been uh, why i am so curious and why this has given me the trajectory of growth so 
by doing a regular and mundane every morning exercises or by the meditation like the vision board or the affirmation gratitude right so i see a different version of myself and got to know how to remain positive in all these situations and motivate myself and by doing this what what exactly happened with me is now i am started taking a full responsibility in charge of my life and career which is more confident i am more confident than earlier in my own thoughts my own feelings the words and the actions and i also stop you know com- com- complaining you know about the things why the things the, you know doesn't happen in my favor and i make myself happy so that i can live and focus into the present as well so which means i plan my day much 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 better than earlier i focus more on the strategic things during the first half of the day and then you know i look after the tech- tactical stuff uh, with the strategic mindset now i am able to see the big picture and make decisions that are in line with my goal also there are some of the habits or i will say the wearing habits which i have adopted you know to get success in my personal and professional life like uh, and some of them are like the put the person first and synergize sharpen the saw by going through the you know uh, by reading the functional technical leadership and uh, setting and last but not only setting up the smart goals as well so overall i had an opportunity to assess my work life balance through the lenses of wheel of life and not only does that the wheel of life help me to quick, uh, quickly assess my current level of my life balance but also it that help me to give a clarity for my goal setting as well and last but not the least is the pastel analysis i think this is something very very important and this pastel analysis actually helped me to identify my disruptive changes to the business models that may probably affect my future employment land land landscape as well so which means it is it is it's it's basically helped me to identify my skills uh, my skill gaps my new job roles uh, any displacements and any job job you know or displacements in the in the it industry as well so overall now i am more focused at working towards finding the, the new venues or the opportunities at a global level within and outside the organization where i can fulfill and i drive those strategic initiatives that will help me to visible beyond the boundaries as well also i am currently or i will say the constantly working to build my my relationship with all the leaders in the it industry by using the linkedin very effectively and just to tap the unpublished market as well so above so above all i will preserve and strive for the excellence in all that i do no matter that the obst- obstacles that may arise in front of me also i will lead with integrity and the courage and setting an example for others to follow so with this i would like to conclude my speech and uh, and as well as i would like to thanks mudit for his guidance over the last three months and uh, i am sure mudit uh, we will further connect and then we'll speak more thank you thank you all i am now going to invite mayur and let's get his certificate thank you thank you good morning and good morning team so okay, i just feel that this journey has just begun and not just ended so with it i just wanted to thank you first uh, as we say gratitude has to come from for the guru so you are the guru here so i have to say thank you thank you while on my quest for being a ceo just give you a story about a person who is coming from a middle class family uh, parents uh, not so well educated and then that's what kind of sets into your your sort of uh, day in and day out so the, there was limited exposure limited risk taking abilities so those were things were pretty in my early childhood days i kind of missed that out then as and how i completed my education i got swayed away by the economic downturn to just give you a background i wanted to get into the stock markets i was uh, number 2 in india pan india uh, when it came to derivatives trading but unfortunately i passed out during that subprime crisis time so I, i i had to pick up a job however whenever i picked up a job there was always a way to grow i always wanted to grow in life it is things which i didn't achieve i really wanted to kind of do it i didn't want to have a car at the age of 50 when my hair is white i wanted to have a car as soon as possible uh, and at the same time as a person very high with morals values a person with integrity 
and respect these are two critical things which i think has taken me to a, uh, a where i am today because i would not only talk to people who are above uh, me with respect but also people at my level and below i think that quality has kind of made me stand out from other people but here comes a fact where uh, i am stuck i was stuck in my career because my role is predominantly in the us so i am a vice president of revenue operations in the technology space this space is very very headquarter driven i have been fortunate to get these roles from india however i kind of feel that now i am uh, sort of stuck in india and that's when i hear a voice are you a mid career professional who is struggling to get a, a promotion in your role and i think that's when there was an aha moment and i said okay let me join and i think mudit he said right it was a matter of couple of hours that he just said okay let's go for it so i wanted to be responsible for my career and as you say and then the first code of honor that struck me was take responsibility so i really felt that i am really in the right 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 cohort and the ceos and the cxos that mudit you invited again it was very reassuring that what they were talking you were sort of echoing that so it was like a refresher when you were hearing them so i just wanted to say thank you for that what i particularly learned is you will again see the six words of honor but the biggest thing is focus focus is your biggest strength i was just listening to your videos and i said that is something which has struck me i have to work on it because i get swayed away by uh, the social media that we are in today so that is something which i want to kind of continue to but apart from that uh, charting which is clarity of purpose is my goal card my ikigai uh, the vision board the wheel of life what are the habits that i need to change one of them i know is waking up early it's very difficult because we we work in the us sort of uh, zone even when i i'm, I'm short of my uh, uh, profession at this moment i still cannot get up because my body is doing that but critical takeaways for me were how do you make presentations how do you take all those small small nuances as in why what is i mean the five words uh, the storytelling how does emotional intelligence affect people what kind of executive presence and i feel we were doing it in some parts but then getting everything together in one sort of 90 day presentation with it i just wanted to say thank you and while i was kind of uh, looking for a new job and Uh, this made me feel that let me trust the process and i will get on the right track from a cfo perspective from a cpo perspective whether it is right now or whether it is a couple of years in the future i will get there with that i just wanted to share a small vision board that i have for myself uh, a is where i want to shape up my career so th- these are something which i will kind of take a print out and and put it in my Uh, work areas. I want to be a CEO as soon as possible, but let's give credit. Let's give due time because with that time, I will learn. I will expose myself to many things and get back to where I want. Uh, having two kids, doing getting to a vacation, spending quality time with family. Uh, I certainly want to have a vacation property, uh, but before that, I would want to generate something in passive income. Uh, we don't know how our uh, lives are so at least generating some passive income is critical and then your job income should be uh, i would say lesser than your passive income that is something which i am kind of striving to i mean having a net worth of uh, at least 10 cr i didn't put the number here that's where i would like to be uh, second is again i concur with the code of honor of charity i like to give people uh, towards education because i was uh, i was on the receiving end and the person who gave me ask me to pass on the chain rather than return it so i do that at at a very small level but i will try and increase that as well uh the, the fifth one is on myself on health i will wake up early and i will exercise with that i just wanted to say a thank you mudit for everything and thank you this cohort as well for the 90 day session uh, i really enjoyed it and uh, we should continue this association beyond this 90 days thank you Piram, when I see his photographs and everything, no, I I see him as a star. I'm now going to invite Piram. Let's get his certificate. Sure, Mudit. Thank you for that. 
to start with in the first session i think we uh, we learned that a 3 degree deviation for a pilot uh, he has to reach london he end up in paris but i was in like a 360 degrees deviation so i was there where i am so so, so basically that was the my condition when i uh, uh, when i just uh, started this journey so probably somewhere my law of attraction works and uh, an email landed uh, from modey uh, and then that, that's where i started and i was not very serious to join this program but i when i talked to mudit it was a uh, 45 minutes that's what mudit allowed but it went to almost like one and a, one, uh, one over 15 minutes like that so immediately on the same day i joined so probably it, it's a blessing in disguise so <laughs> so because i was not having any clear path on where to go and i'm just on a autopilot mode where it is taking maybe it is happened because i have some good uh, kind of a god fathers okay in in my organization who are taking me to the positions without uh, without a big effort from my side actually so uh, the whole struggle started when that particular chain is disappear from my organization so now i just left the lawn so that's where i realized i'm trying to middle on the top without building a proper foundation so the mudit program is an excellent one which is exactly a course whatever i'm lacking so i'm and now i find a very nice path and i'm very much sure i i also kept myself in my mind i promised myself in the next 90 days is the real transformation from my my side so this 90 days it is kind of a uh, to put the light on the right path so i i know i will take that path so i start with a small small thought actually so i asked a person and he explained how the things go wrong and how it will fail and uh, after some time i asked the same person and he told how it can be successful so the the same person failure talking about the failure not talking about the success and uh, that person is like basically thomas alva edison okay he know how to fail 99 times but also he also knows how to be the successful on the next time so the whole point here is the consistency and then never give up approach so this is what i want to take the inspiration so instead of telling what i already achieved i i want to tell about what i want to do in the next 90 days so i want to start with my day with a game of life game is like goal card affirmation meditation and keep myself energetic okay and also i will wish basically v i s h v i s is my visual board visual and then the h is my habits i want to start with that one and also i also think of that one workflow actually because uh, when we started directly with the goals it is not the right approach that's what i felt so after i learned small small things from the mudis uh, uh, lessons actually so i found that we need to start with wheel of life then we know where where we are lacking then we need to look at our values it will leads to our identities and those identities change it to bring up what are the habits we need to start with and also habits should go to the conscious a subconscious way it should not be on the ram but it should be autopiloted by our subconscious that's what i want to work on so it should go by naturally not by a big effort actually so till that getting that autopilot we need to do a lot of uh, a uh, lot of things consistently that's what i want to do it actually and also i always remember about uh, the mudits uh, we are part of 18% of the fortunate people in this world so uh, that's where the gratitude starts so i i i start my gratitude uh, i never forget about it and also the mudits rightly said uh, when we are especially when we are down we need to be do the gratitude uh, sorry uh, gratitude meditation or something like that and uh, the next thing is about the career planning without plan we cannot go anywhere that's what i said that 360 degrees deviation for me so i want to start with uh, 
the SWOT and the pistol analysis. I did a little bit, but not very, very clearly. Uh, I want to do that one. And once that I get the career plan, I will build my, basically the plan, daily plan, long-term goals and short-term goals. And the, the biggest icebreaker for me is the network is everything. When we are going to the executive's thing, executive's roles. So, which I'm not really given a very great focus. I was having some network, but I need to build a great network. And also with the network, we also should have a lot of interactions. It is not just have it connected to somebody in the LinkedIn and then just stop it. So we need to have a more interactions. This is where, where in the interactions, I found very good things about myself through others. Like Raju was saying about my, myself as a, I can be a good coach. So these kind of a, things will appear when we are greatly interacting with other persons, other people. And uh, also I want to work more on the executive presence, especially as Mayur said about the gravi gravitas. I was, I was start thinking about it, I need to start it. I want to uh, clearly improve my pre presentation skills. And also I want to make my presence felt in the current organization before going to any other. So I want to clearly work on that one, uh, especially the storytelling, selling my skills, like, uh, and also emotional intelligence part. These, these parts are the things which uh, from the office side, I want to do it. And the most of the things it is 90% is my foundation building, as I was uh, explaining in the early. And the next thing is office politics. Some of the points which Mudit touched on. Really, I never thought in that direction. Basically, organizationally, the organization chart, some people may be in the powerful positions in, in, in the chart, but in the execution, they are not powerful. There are some other decision-making people. Uh, we need to figure out that particular, uh, particular channel to get, a, get, get into the higher positions. This is very uh, good learning for me, and I will uh, work on that one. And uh, thank you very much for all the participative colleagues for me. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have uh, have this kind of a network and through Mudit it all happened. Thank you again, uh, Mudit, for this one. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. First of all, thanks each and every one. I've learned a lot of things. I think I'm the younger one uh, here, I guess, and uh, learned a lot of new things. For example, from Raju, how to meditate, what is the essence of meditation? And from uh, Sudhir, how to being um, disciplined and self-prepared. And uh, from, I have taken notes, <laughs> and um, Mayur, how to do storytelling, Nayang, uh, being a good listener, Sriram, how to be proactive. So these are the traits I'm I'm learning, which I'm sometimes you need not to be 100 out of 100. Sometimes you might be 60 out of 100. And how to improve the, that 40% by through your calling. Why people go to IIMs or you know, Harvard? Because it's all about networking and to get um, learning from other people. So we are learning from each other and learning the things which is different from um, which is lacking or which needs improvement. And coming back to the uh, this program and uh, uh, thank you Mudit, it's been an honor and a privilege to be part of this program. Uh, learned a lot of things. Uh, first and foremost, I have learned this, uh, being holistic uh, and um, and here it all starts with you and morning routine, uh, which is pivotal. Uh, the whole CXO program here, I think, I believe, uh, it starts with being focused and trusting the process and being um, and showing the gratitude to others. These three, three things, one is, to improve the process like storytelling, presentation, public speaking, 
uh, finding your ikigai. This, uh, this is the process which you need to follow. And the third one, being gratitude because the excess baggage, you buy, your health issues, and it, it all starts with your mindsets. You have to let it go to relearn yourself. I think uh, these are the things which I have learned and thanks for the program. I, I would like to learn each and every day and to progress further. We welcome Ananta to share his journey. Thank you, Mudit. I'm going to talk about two journey. One, the journey leading into uh, this program and, you know, the journey post the program. So, number one, I was going through a usual midlife crisis when I started in the 40s. And then, uh, so basically, I had to go through a lot of changes internally, you know, became more spiritually aligned and, um, you know, whatever we looked at from a religious point of view suddenly became a very spiritual point of view. And um, so before I start, let me just thank my family. You know, this is my family. And uh, so that's my, you know, son, my twin daughters, my wife and my father-in-law. I couldn't find my son in any of the photos. So this was the photo I could find. So um my father-in-law doesn't live with us but i could just find this photo and that's why i added it here and uh, so you know basically uh, what i you know started understanding is that all of us are unique each and every one of us are unique i know we know that right we all know that we hear that but then the way we work you know we work like we are we are like everybody else and um, i think what um, you know, I sensed is that there is a bigger vault available. That's a destiny that each of us carry. And the, the key to the vault is you. There is nobody else who can open that vault. Okay, it's just going to be you. When I, when I realized it, then I want to really look at what vault is that, which is my destiny that I should be looking at. So that's the kind of journey I was going through. So, you know, Basically, my focus completely turned into the spiritual side and the job and everything else just became meaningless. Uh, you know, it was just giving me money to, you know, feed my family and manage the show. So that's how it was going on. And what has happened is, you know, I was also at the crossroad because at one end, I kept dreaming about, you know, becoming an entrepreneur. And then I said, OK, let me not, you know, I think that's going to come. So let's not you know, change my job. Let me just hold on to my job. But that kept going and going and going. And suddenly I find my life being absolutely meaningless from a contribution point of view at work. So with the spiritual journey, whatever I, I gained as a knowledge, right? Um, I, I came into this journey, right? So maybe I'll take one more, one more example before uh, I do that. So, you know, basically there is, I, I, I read the story from the life of uh, Jesus. So, you know, this is basically a fig tree. And while he was going on a journey, he found with his, with his you know, friends, he finds a tree like this. It's a fig tree. Uh, and then, you know, he says, he looked for a fruit. It was not there. So he said, he said, what's of use if you don't give a fruit? Then they just leave. Two days later, when they come back, the tree is completely gone. It's dried out and dead. Right? And the, the friends or disciples, you know, they were all amazed. Wow, you know, how could this happen? You just tell this and then this happened to the tree. Then he says, looks at to them and says, hey, if you have, if you have a faith, right? You can speak to a mountain. Even the mountain can be lifted and casted into the sea, right? Basically, he's only trying to tell, not that we have to go around every mountain and just cast it into the sea, uh, which many people try. Uh, I think what he really meant was, uh, basically saying that if your mind and heart are aligned, anything is possible. Even as big as casting a mountain into the sea is even possible, right? Anything that we see as a mountain in our life, a hurdle in our life, if our heart and mind are aligned, I think we can easily overcome that. That's essentially what, um, you know, what is told. So I'm all applying the spiritual principle, whatever I'm learning from the masters and all that, but nothing is happening in the work, right? So that's where I stand. 
and personal friend you know we were also at the time where we were this is the school that um, you know that we have leased out um and you would hardly recognize this as a school but this is how it was uh, you know late last year or just before you know we started this course right and um, so too many things going on and you know i think i probably missed about 40% of the classes uh even though many of you didn't notice but but actually whatever i attended i think there was a lot of um whatever i applied as a spiritual principle on my spiritual journey i could take it to my professional life as well uh like for example vision board right i um, i i continue to vision on many things i dream about things and trust me when you get into the 40s and especially late 40s that i am in um it's very difficult to even imagine because your mind says okay you're done that's it right i think many of us may may feel that which was not the case in our 20s uh, or even 30s but today i started dreaming back again and uh, this place when i when i walked with my wife uh, we were in we were in this corner the one that you see yellow i, I don't know if you can see my cursor we were walking through this door right there was a side you know compound wall that was broken so we walked in through this and this was in shambles uh, what you see is actually cut out it this is already cut right but but it wasn't cut then and the doors of every building were crumbling the, there was a crack in the building and all that so i told my wife that hey you know what um, don't look at the building the way it is right now look at how it can be and i instantly told i didn't plan or in practice right i just told her and then she said she liked it and we you know basically today this is the school that we have uh, i'm sorry this is this is somewhere in the middle um middle of maybe feb or sometime around feb this is how it looked and this is how it looks today you know i see a lot of things around me changing and i'm so thrilled about things that are changing and similarly my my life was in crossroad like i said i didn't know what to pursue from a career uh, so entrepreneurial journey is still on um i think uh, from my uh, from my salary job that i currently have what i've done is i think somewhere around march i had um, proposed a different model of client engagement to my company which they were not even i mean they were not aware right we were primarily infrastructure company uh, when i say infrastructure uh, it infrastructure company ibm felt we are useless so they shelved us out or divested us out and uh, so now we are trying to build and compete with people like ibm right so i have a great role to play which i didn't realize like i said the vault and the key right so i had that it was just meant for me so i when started proposing a model and um, i spoke about the model and i told these guys the executives were here i just spoke to them in fact i wrote it in my excel sheet right i just said this is what i plan to do so they were little amazed i said everybody said i like it but who will do it right i said i will do it and just that i was as i was speaking i think this was a tuesday and wednesday i see a mail coming from a client uh, from a client partner saying we have a requirement a consulting engagement like this and is there anyone to help us out right so i said you know hey here i am i'm ready to volunteer and so next week i'm traveling for that engagement and if everything goes well that will set you know my career on a different uh, direction altogether put me on a on a role of an executive and secondly um you know but that doesn't still stop me from my entrepreneurial journey that is also going to go the school that we are building the the school that we are opening i'm still on it i'm still helping my wife on many things on a thought leadership and you know and stuff like that so my life is very busy and that's one of the reason i really couldn't follow the process but mudit i want to tell you with just pure visualization and few of the techniques that i had if so many things could be achieved that's why i wanted to go back to the lms revisit each principle and work on it right i'm going to work on it and um, i'm you know basically you want to put a methodology around whatever you have created right i don't want to stick to few things and then you know be happy with that i'm just going to go back and revisit every small thing that you have spoke of and you know i in that you know when i do that i can already imagine 
the possibilities of what it can bring to me. And, um, you know, with, with that note, I, I, you know, I thank Mudit because Mudit, I think I set up at least three calls, if I'm not mistaken. So, and like, you know, he was jokingly telling Ananta doesn't give me time. And uh, because I want to send out a, pro, a, a resume. So there were a lot of politics going on, right? I mean, so they were trying to, so I just told, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to give a profile. I just changed the, you know, the game, right? Because the game was who instead of Ananta can go, you know, these kind of discussions people started. And so I said, hey, you know, I, I didn't want, I didn't even want to object it. I said, um, I told the client partner team, I'm going to send my profile and anybody else sends a profile, you can take it to the client, right? So now it's no longer Kindle deciding, it's a client deciding. In that game, I can win, right? I have no problem. So then I, I didn't know what to write. So I reached out to Mudit. Mudit was gracious enough to, you know, handle my short notice and then suggest, you know, some of the approaches. And similarly, you know, I connected you know, last week as well, uh, very short notice, I had, uh, you know, he's advising me on the on this consulting engagement, and he's as thrilled as me uh, to see me successful. And I'm very grateful. And uh, I'm going to connect with him continuously. Um, and shamelessly, even after the course is over, because I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I know, I know he, he, he really values the transformation more than anything else. And, um, you know, I, I really appreciate I appreciate the team. I think, uh, honestly, I never spoke to any of you post these meetings and I'm, you know, I'm really sorry. It was crazy, really crazy for me. And, um, uh, but I'm sure it is the same for you as well. But, you know, let's stay in touch. I think we have a great network. And the main reason I decided to join this course was not even the content of the course. Seeing Mudit, I really wanted to take, ad, you know, take advantage of his, uh, mentoring skills. I joined purely for Buddhist mentoring, and but it's an added bonus that all that he's speaking are taught in the classes. So, thank you so much, team, and let's stay connected. Let me welcome Anand CJ. Get his Thanks, certificate. Man. terms of the guidelines for the audio. I've kind of tried to put those into three sections, right? Uh, why did I got associated with CXO High and how has been the journey and what is my next steps on that? So why is CXO High? Uh, see, this is this is my career horoscope I'm seeing here, but it's not horoscope. I would probably say it's a horror scope to me. Because it, it, it's always been a roller coaster kind of thing, but Mudit, you gave a you gave a nice name to that, right? You called it trajectory. So as you see, my my career has always been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, this is my IT part of the career. Before this, I had a very small engineering you know industry career as well, which I'm not depicted here. I drew this graph so that I can speak about uh, you know what path I have taken. So it all started fine. I, you know, in IT, I, I joined Satyam Computers, then went for four and a half years to Dubai. Uh, you know, things went fine personally, professionally. So that's where you see this on-site experience. Uh, then there are different challenges in life, different priorities in life. So I had to come back to India. Uh, then the roller coaster fun started, uh, right? I joined Accenture and I was part of Accenture for close to 10 years. I joined this organization in 2004 uh, when the organization was started in 2003. So I grew with the organization. So too much of travel during this, uh, during the various roles I took on uh, within India, abroad, you know, I mean, a lot, lot of fun we had, but there were difficult times. And you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to this organization for giving me you know, a lot of rich experience, meeting some dynamic people, et cetera, right? But something else happened, you know, as I, went to you know a leadership role there uh, i probably got a victim to you know the politics and some of the arrangements and things like that that happened so i didn't hear you more at that time had i been there maybe i would have continued and probably become a managing director and taken a different trajectory right uh, but yeah i had to come out of the organization abruptly come out of the organization 
because some of the ethics of mine did not you know, work well there. Uh, I came out of the organization, went on an entrepreneur journey. Uh, I want to do something in education field. Uh, I started it for a few months. I started, you know, that program in you know, one or two schools as well. Uh, but then I hit a severe health issue. I got severe sciatica and I got bedridden for six months. So I couldn't take it any further. Uh, the only option I had when I regained my health was uh, to come back to the IT career, right? Uh, so this was the time when, you know, as Ananta and others are saying, you know, I also got probably associated more with spirituality and other things, right? Uh, then the next set of organizations where I've worked with, it's always been a compromised career option. So always looking at, uh, you know, work-life balance and certain other priorities that life is throwing at, right? Now, what is happening in my current organization is I am doing a director of engineering role here. I take care of product development, client implementations. But somewhere, you know, I am, uh, you know, a stagnancy is kind of being hit, uh, so some negative feelings started coming, you know, in terms of what am I doing here, you know, and I cannot move up till my boss moves out, right? Because I'm like N minus two from the country head. Uh, so, and then, yeah, though I was complacent, but probably, you know, looking for a change and, you know, settle some market correction. Uh, yeah, these things always confuse me. What are my priorities? How much of family and the, the wheel of life made a lot of sense to me uh, Mudit, when you gave me that because I always looked at balance of those areas right and I was a person always career was not always a forefront to me I was looking at a mix of you know all other priorities that life throws at uh, tried some interviews but realized that you know these are getting hard uh, I was a person before, you know, always clear interviews in first round itself, uh, first attempt itself, right? But that's not the case anymore, right? And reached out to a few people, networking didn't help either. So that's where probably I realized that you know, I need to go through some self-development and a coach. Uh, so here I am, I, right? And I'm in this midlife crisis. Uh, trying hard, running hard to get into executive leadership position, but realizing that there is a gap. Now, how do I fill the gap? I was I was searching, and that meeting with Budit happened, and you know, yeah, we got into this program. So this is this is how you know my journey is currently, and in, in terms of how this program has gone, now I've kind of uh, divided this into you know. Uh, probably three sections or three groups, right? Uh, in terms of awareness and you know the learnings and, and the transformation guidelines that Mutis has put. So this is called up the ante, right? So this is this is like an antenna. Uh, Mudith, you have given us. We we need to just pull antenna on this. You know what what I call it as low hanging items, right? Uh, these are daily doses. You know we need to go through. Uh, in order to rewire our brain and, you know, things like vision board, wheel of life, goal card affirmations, you know, th this has to be done. Uh, yeah, this has been started, but probably, you know, uh, it, we need to, I need to go deeper into all this, right? Presentations is something that I've been trying to, you know, improve as a continuous skill. So that, that those tips and, you know, the other things that you spoke about really helped. Uh, that, that, that's why I'm calling it as up the ante. Right, so it is easy to for us to get into this, but what is difficult here is the routine, you know, which I've realized in this 90 day challenge. The next one is uh, these are some items that are, you know, I am calling it as between hammer and the anvil, right? So I need to hit hard with the hammer to get into these, right? These are like next levels learning. Uh, now, some of the items that I've put here. Uh, is probably what resonated with me, right? Uh, you spoke about so many things, right? Uh, but yeah, there are there are certain things that that's probably still not resonated. But I'm looking at some of these areas which has resonated, and these are some things that that needs to get matured. Uh, so that's why I'm, I'm calling this on the anvil. And the last one is bite the bullet. These are this is where you know I think. All of us, as we move on, realize that you know we need to move from technology to 
you know, different skills. And, you know, uh, in terms of office politics, networking, perceptions, conflict management, these are things that we were aware. And you know, I think we, we, we kind of had it in our experience and working, uh, but probably needs more attention. And you know, we have no choice, right? You know, we need to go through this uh, so that, you know, we, we can get into the executive leadership. So this is how I have kind of divided, you know, I've kind of applied my mind to understand that how should I go through this? And, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to take this forward, right? In terms of the next steps, uh, the journey continues, right? And I mean, it doesn't stop here. 90 day was, was a good timeline, I thought. <laughs> but then, yeah, I mean, as Mudit, as you always say that, you know, uh, the rigor that we need to bring in is, is still not there. We need to break the past patterns that we have and then, you know, uh, and learn and relearn these things, right? So this is a plan that I was probably thinking in my mind. This is a stretch target, I would say, right? So I will probably go for another 40 day challenge. This, you know, we always say mandala, right? One mandala, close to a mandala, this is 40 day challenge. Uh, apply these techniques, uh, build a personal brand, you know, look for a change in a leadership role, you know, move to a new organization that probably should happen this year. Uh, I have a stretch target of CTO and probably Mudit, I have also mentioned that I want to be invited in your leader to CXO journey. Oh, you know. why not? Why not? <laughs> right. So th that's, that's, that's what I've got in terms of, you know, how, how I want to move forward. Uh, yeah, that's all I think. A huge thank you to... Oh, oh. To yourself, Mudit, and a uh, huge thank you to the team and the cohort. Uh, you know, and so we are learning a lot, and I think let's stay connected. Let's have uh, our next speaker who's attended the program from Netherlands and India. Love to hear Puneet's story. Thank you, Mudit, uh, for the introduction. And uh, yeah, so I would narrate my story. Like uh, um, I'm working in the same company since uh, 17 years now, that is TCS. So uh, initially I had my ups and downs and somehow I didn't feel like switching the company. There is the comfort in the company and you know job security is also there. That's what I was thinking earlier. So I stayed in this company once I tried to resign also, but they sent me on site at that time also. So I uh, decided against uh, quitting. I'm continuing here. Uh, like uh, I was stuck at a place like I was getting late promotions and less hikes. So I thought that on site is the only solution. So I was running after on site and uh, I got few on sites. But I think after joining uh, this course, uh, my... Uh, thinking is changed like uh, i earlier i you i couldn't even think of uh, becoming a cxo to be honest so after joining this a uh, lot of confidence has been built that yes i can reach to a cxo position by education i am an mba so during my mba days i used to uh, you know, as joining the corporate world, uh, it just the life take over me and took over me, and uh, I just thought that no, I'm not a C CEO material or CXO material. But yes, after joining this course, my confidence has boosted a lot, and uh, now I'm in the journey of becoming a COO. So maybe after four or five years, I plan to become a COO. And uh, also, I have uh, entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurial uh, uh aspirations that i want to start my startup uh, maybe in uh, five six years and <clears throat> definitely i would like to become the ceo of uh, of my organization but before that my dream is to be a cxo uh, or rather ceo uh, of a good organization so that's what i'm working towards and i've learned a lot of things in this uh, program uh, the best part was the career derailers which you know <clears throat> Uh, I got the insight about my derailers and I'm working on those so that, you know, I achieve my uh, aspiration. So uh, that's about it, Mudit. 
thank you so much and thank you others for uh, your cooperation and suggestions let's hear from amit thank you modit before joining uh, this course i mean i was not particularly aware that what it is going to be and uh, how am i going to be fit in this thing uh, whether i am a uh, fit or a misfit for this program so uh, initially i just took the drive i could understood uh, it is uh, important to have a timeline for your career so that you can just think about yourself uh, then initially started with uh, building personal behavior how uh, the most of the things comes from you only so building personal behavior traits are very much important and then uh, instead of uh, looking for the opportunities uh, you should look for the problems in the organization so that you can build up some solutions towards that and uh, be a solution oriented guy rather than a problem telling guys then comes to the part of networking with the right people as uh, discussed during the course uh, networking plays a very important role uh, you should have a repo with not just with your boss but boss's boss also so that he also is aware that whether what is going uh, in the organization and who is doing what and if you have some good repo there might be opportunities come uh, come up to you uh, at any point of time which you are yourself are not uh, aware of then you are aligning your vision uh, and mission with the organization's uh, vision and mission uh, will help you and uh, will take you to the uh, to the next level and then i feel that uh, with this journey if i could uh, build all these blocks uh, properly i could be the ceo by 2028 so how to do that personal victory uh, we have already cut out the uh, the map is now ready we should have our vision board ready daily affirmations should be there we should have the meditation sort of thing planning the day how are you are going to plan your day and then setting your morning and evening routine that that uh, sets you up for the day and if, if uh, victory each day will take you to the next level will we will win you the week and the months and the and the year onwards then comes the problem finding if you um, are involved with the uh, top management you need to have some sort of problem finding mechanism within uh, yourself so that you can come up with the solutions with the right people at the right time and they are also looking forward to you to uh, get the solutions done and it should be on a regular basis sort of thing then comes the networking networking uh, it, it is uh, it's very essential both inside and outside uh, you, uh, in the organization and outside the organization like the linkedin you uh, have elaborated very uh, clearly that how you should approach linkedin and use linkedin as a tool to showcase uh, yourself to the world so you are not aware that um, whether uh, opportunity should come from this or that instead of looking for the opportunities or meeting guys just for the sake of uh, your career enhancement you should initiate the dialogue so that both of you can be on the same platform and uh, you never know that at uh, any point of time you can be beneficial for others and others can be beneficial to you then there has to be some core team where you can discuss your ideas so i believe uh, mudit has given a platform so for building that core team and this network uh, of people uh, i believe there are some of very senior people and um, in the in the in this uh, core group and uh, we'll look forward to meeting with them also uh, i asked mudit to have a physical uh, sort of uh, uh, this ceremony uh, on this day but uh, i don't know what this couldn't happen in this batch maybe next batch will be better and uh, we could have that uh, sort of physical connections and then setting the vision and mission straight uh, we should have the purpose of uh, our life which was the core idea of uh, mindfulness that you whatever you do you should have some sort of purpose uh, why exactly you are doing if you are aware of that purpose uh, your daily and monthly routines sh should be aligning to that 
and if the aligning uh, if the aligning is proper you will reach uh, to some uh, uh, means desired uh, you will reach some desired outcome maybe not say so but maybe something better uh, why to fix on that but if you set that purpose straight you can assess your current role what how exactly you are doing right now and what are the drawbacks you are having right now what are the additional qualities you are looking forward to to adding to that so that you can reach to a uh, level where you have already um, designed and if you can do that you can develop a plan for that and just a regularity is very much essential which has been a part of that and if we can uh, make all these things in line we can uh, uh, reassure that uh, by 2028 uh, i could also be among the ceos uh, in the country thank you amadit so great guys all the best take care keep in touch keep the group alive take care guys bye thank you guys. Thank, thank you thank you everyone thank you amadit thank you all yeah bye bye thank you all bye bye